Welcome back to my kitchen, YouTubers. Today we're going to be making some barbecue baked beans to use up all those many tins of beans you've been hoarding. I put in some adjustments so you can make it vegetarian or vegan, but I really hope you enjoy it. Okay, you need one large onion and you need to finely chop it. Uh, one chorizo sausage. Uh, anywhere between 225 and 390 is perfectly fine. A third of a cup of treacle. A third of a cup of brown sugar. Two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. One tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. One tablespoon of hot chili sauce. Mine is getting a bit low, so I'm going to top it up with some chili flakes. 400 grams of crushed tomatoes. So you need about 1200 grams worth of beans. Um, I've only got white and brown beans left, so I'm just going to do some haricot blanc. You can do a range of other lots of beans. Normally I do 400 grams of cantalini beans, 400 grams of butter beans, 400 grams of bolotti beans. You also need about 750 mils, three cups of chicken stock. Now the first thing you want to do to prep is you want to remove kind of the outer casing of the chorizo. It's edible, but in theory it gives you like better texture uh, if you've removed it for these baked beans. So to remove it, uh, cut off with these end bits and just get rid of them. Uh, cut the sausage in half. Now down the back, just run your knife so you can kind of break the skin. And then you can just peel it all the way off. Uh, at this point we need to chop up the chorizo, so I suggest halving it again just to make it a bit easier. And cut it, you can cut it into quarters if you like, I'm going to make it a bit chunkier um, and just cut it like this. Probably about five to seven millimeter cuts. Now, if you don't eat chorizo, you can easily achieve the smoky flavor um, that it's got. So if you're vegan, or you just don't eat pork for religious reasons. Uh, I would substitute the smoky flavor of the paprika. You could have uh, one to two teaspoons uh, of paprika. Okay, so substitute it with paprika. Um, the same goes for the chicken stock. You can easily substitute it for vegetable stock. Heat some oil at a medium to high heat. Add your onion and chorizo. If you're doing the vegan option, um, don't add your paprika until maybe like the last little bit as the onion is starting to kind of glass up a little bit. So I'm going to start to add the other ingredients as we go along. Um, I'm going to try and add the liquid stock first just so it helps the other stuff not burn uh, down the foam. So I'm going to add the chicken stock or vegetable stock if you're doing the vegan option. Okay, 
can of beans. Uh, sorry, not beans, can of tomatoes. Um, all my beans that I've rinsed. Let's get rid of those can juices. My Worcestershire sauce. Dijon mustard. So I've managed to salvage almost enough hot sauce out of that almost empty packet. So I will supplement it a bit later uh, with some uh, hot chili uh, flakes, but I may, I may not need to. So I'm just gonna test it and see how I rinse this off in here. And get as much of that sauce as possible. Just means that it'll be a little bit less spicy, but I got enough of the sauce out. Tastes better with more spice, but will do. Uh, the treacle. And the brown sugar, which I've firmly pressed down to make sure that I've got the right amount. Mix it all up. Now I want to leave it until it comes to a boil. Give it a wee stir as it goes along. Once it's reached a boil, you want to put a lid on it and put it in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius. For one and a quarter hours. You can see that lovely, thick, rich texture. 